back in the autumn, a spider had found a warm corner underneath the signal box at the junction. She had woven a web pointed at one end and shaped like a funnel and for a while she lived very well on what she had caught in it. Now it was spring and the spider had moved on. She knew nothing about the preparations for the golden jubilee. It's going to be a disaster, remarked Henry gloomily. Important people, a special train, and nothing for them to see. Oh, Rajin misery, said Donald. A look on the bright side. There's a week to go yet. I'm sure it will be all right, put in Daisy. She had been shy about living in the big shed. At first, of course it will, agreed Duck. Have you ever seen the fat controller's plans go wrong? No, admitted James. I've never, oh, I've never known that. The other engines agreed, except for Henry. Oh, there's always a first time, he muttered darkly. By the time the Jubilee Day arrived, Edwidge Wheel and Thomas's branch line were both mended. The fat controller told Edward he was to run the special train ahead of the special train to make sure that the line was clear. Does that mean, he asked excitedly. Wait and see, smiled the fat controller. Crowds begun to gather at the big station. There was to be a red carpet, speeches, and a special luncheon for the visitors. Oh, the last time we had a red carpet, oh, the queen came, remarked Gordon. As the special train grew to a halt. Emily grinned happily at Edward. Got your special lamps arranged, she asked. Off you go then. We'll follow in a few minutes. At the junction, a breeze blew into the room beneath the signal box. It wafted the old spider's web between two electrical circuits. At once, everything in the signal box stopped working. Signals went to danger and points could not be moved 
Now what? exclaimed the signalman. There's a royal train due in a few minutes. Edward stopped outside the signal box. Thomas, Percy, Toby and Mavis were already waiting. The electronics are dead. The signalman told Edward's driver. We'll shall have to flag you all through. But it will take time. You must go first, then the royal. Carefully, men with flags sent the trains on their way. Edward went first with a letter for a fat controller telling him what had happened. Pip and Emma went next. Finally, Thomas and the branch line engines were let through. At the big station, the crowds were enormous. The fat controller looked impatiently at his watch. We'll shall see everything from here, said James happily. If there is anything to see, grumbled Henry. Just then they heard a whistle. Oh, that's Edward, said Gordon. Well, he had a wasted journey. Poor engine. But we knew that all knew that Henry was wrong, don't we? Pip and Emma soon drew in. On the royal carpet stepped a royal person. I apologize for the delay, sir, said the fat controller, and he explained what had gone wrong. Then he introduced the royal visitor to each of the engines. I've heard about you all after the Queen came here many years ago, he told them. I'm delighted to meet you myself. The engines whistled loud and long. The royal person grinned and covered his ear. The Queen was right, he told the fat controller. Your railways and your engine are a credit to you.